With the horizontal fairing bracket on the brake side of the bike removed, remove the bolt at the top of the fairing upright as shown here. You will bolt Hogtoon's 2CHSP two-channel side plate into place with the bolt just removed and the two fasteners that held the horizontal fairing bracket in place. Separate the two halves of the supplied Velcro. One half will go on the mounting plate and the other will go on the bottom of the amp as shown. In the amplifier's box, locate the main audio input harness and plug it into the matching connector on the side of the amp. You can now stick the amp to the plate with the power connector in the bottom position. The REV225-AA amp needs to sit below the top of the plate by around half an inch to allow the outer fairing to go back on. In your amplifier's box, locate the harness with red and black and white and black wires labeled Bypass. On the REV225AA amp already in the bike, you will see an empty blue plug on the input harness we call the Bypass Out. If there is a four-channel amp in the bike, the Bypass Out is a blue plug on the side of the amp as shown. Plug the Bypass harness into the Bypass Out on the amp. The red and black wires on the bypass harness from the original amp in the bike will plug into the green and black wires on the second amp's input harness. The white and black wires will plug into the yellow and black the same way. This is how we get music from the first amp to the second amp. On the bike we are using, the existing REV225AA is powering the front speakers and the second REV225AA will power Hogtoon's lids. The four pin plug that comes with our lid kits, lower fairing kits, or rear speaker pods will plug into the amplified output pigtail on the side of the second amp. Attach the power and ground for the second amp to the bike's battery and test the system. Turn the bike's ignition on and make sure everything is working fine. Using the supplied zip ties, clean the wires up inside the fairing, making sure none of the amplifier's wires get attached to the bike's antenna wires. With all wires secured, turn the bike's front wheel to each extreme side, making sure nothing is impeding the steering of the bike. Assuming all is good, reinstall the bike's outer fairing, and the second amp is ready to enjoy.